Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and if you've been confused about the difference between stamped layers versus merged layers versus merge visible in On One Photo Raw, this is the video for you. Really quick before I get into it, if this is the first time you're checking out my channel or you've been enjoying the content for a bit and haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you would click the little button down there and subscribe and you won't miss a beat. So let's take a look at layers in Photo Raw, and I have this very colorful yet contrived uh, setup here to explain the difference between visible layers, stamping layers, merging layers, and, and what the differences of those mean. So the key takeaway is that if you merge a layer, it is a destructive action. If you stamp, it is a non-destructive action. And so let's take a look at that here. So I've got these four different layers here, green, blue, orange, base, nothing special, just a basic gradient mask. So we can see that if I turn off green, for example, I have blue left and I go down to orange and then I just have my base photo here. So I have all these different layers turned on. Let's start with stamped layers. So what a stamped layer does, it says, take all of the pixels that I see. So everything I see in this preview window for all of the visible layers and put that in a single layer. So I right click and I say new stamped layer. I get a new stamped layer and let's just call that stamped one so we can keep track of what's going on. Now all of the pixels, all these colors are here. Notice there's no mask and I can prove the point by turning off the visibility on all the other layers. So this layer is the combination of everything that we could see when we stamped the layer, right? So if I turn that off, we're going to see nothing. And then I can rebuild everything back up as those layers come back into visibility. Let's try a little different experiment. Let's turn off blue. And I'll select the green layer. I will say new stamped layer. We'll call that stamped two. Notice blue is not there. Why? It was not visible when I stamped the layer. Stamping layers means take everything that I see in this preview area and put it into a single set of pixels on a single layer. And again, I can turn off all of that. Now, the other key thing about stamped layers is I still have all of these component layers, right? This is non-destructive. It's adding new layers on top. And so I was able to change my mind. And I had, oh, I had stamped with, a, with the blue stripe. I didn't want that. I wanted something different. I have that choice and still have all of my component layers to go back to. Now, let's turn everything back on here and let's do a little cleanup. We'll get rid of our stamped layer, get rid of our stamped layer. So now we're back to our four base layers. Let's take a look at the difference now with merging. So merging, if I take a layer and I want to merge it and I see merge layer, merge layer will take the layer I have selected and combine it with the layer that's beneath it and fuse those into a single layer. It's like merging traffic. Two lanes become one and after that they do not come apart again. Well, okay, it's not exactly like traffic because, you know, roads part, but you get the idea here, right? So first off, let's prove a couple of points where we can't do certain things. If I turn off visibility and I try to merge, there's nothing there. I have merge visible, so I could take all of the visible layers and stick those into a single layer, just like stamping, except all of the component layers will be gone after that. So I don't want to do that just yet in our example, uh, but I cannot merge down. Same thing if the layer beneath, so right now the blue layer is turned off, I have the green layer active, I can't merge that layer down because the layer beneath it is not active, it's not enabled. So I have to have the pair enabled. Now let's make green and blue fuse together. So if I say merge layer, first thing we notice is now we only have three layers. I've destroyed one layer. It is now gone, and this green layer, I'll rename it to green and blue because that's what's in that layer. We can see that here. If I turn off orange and my base image, I only have half the photo, and because it was masked, I have no pixels over here, so the mask was eliminated, and if I had masked away pixels, those pixels are gone as well. Of course, turning everything back on, visually it looks fine, but that merging 
destroyed the pixels that were on the individual layers, squashed them into a single layer. And if I, I have undo, that's about the only thing I can do is I can undo things. Let's undo my visible changes. Then I'm undoing my rename. And finally, I'm undoing that merge. That's the only way to get back from a merge. And um, after a certain point, you're not going to be able to undo, you know, tons of history. So merging layers is destructive. You need to be careful when you do it. The one last merge that we, we did talk about was the um, merge visible. Let's turn off the orange layer and then just do a merge visible. So what happened is the three layers that were visible all got combined into a single layer. Notice there's no orange whatsoever. And orange layer is still there. I still have access to that if I needed to do something with it. If I turned off green, turned on orange, I have it there. I have a mask, so it's not completely... Uh, completely the, the same or the full image, but it's just a mask. But that will take, again, all of those layers that were visible at the time. So I had orange invisible, I had green, blue, and base visible. Those all got merged into a single set of pixels, and then I can continue working on these. So why the difference between merge and stamped? Well, it's uh, really a management of how many layers you want to have in your stack. And in some cases, these layers can get very big. And when they get large, there's more data for your machine to try to track. And so sometimes things can slow down if I've got seven, eight, nine layers, and these are all 40 or 50 megapixels worth of uh, information. That's a lot to, uh, to, to juggle and manage. So uh, you know, rule of thumb is if you're not quite sure about uh, needing to go back to your component layers, do a stamped layer. You know, consolidate uh, amount of masking work or compositing that you've done into a single layer and then continue your editing from that point forward. And then you can always go back to your component layers and simply delete them if you're done with them. If you're certain that you do not need to have those component layers anymore, do a layer merge. You'll just squash things down into a single layer, keep your layer stack tidy, keep your machine humming along, and finish off your edits. That's going to do it for the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Any other questions about layers, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.